we don't have to use the word export. It's the one and only Hi, hi, hi. Today, I'm going to teach you guys on how to create Linktree clone using Svelte. For those who don't know what Svelte is, Svelte is another JavaScript web framework. Yes, another one. And why I chose Velt is because it's it's just something new. <laughs> and I really like it. One feature that it has is you write less boilerplate. There's no virtual DOM, which makes your app really fast and truly reactive. So there is a video on top that talks about rethinking reactivity by Rich Harris, which is the creator of Svelte. And I highly recommend you guys to watch the talk. And this is how fast Svelte is. And you could see that there isn't a lot of boilerplate. It is just your normal JavaScript, CSS, and HTML. It's like a compiler framework. It compiles your code into vanilla JavaScript which just makes it fast. So this is like a walkthrough on how you can get started with Svelte. Easy tutorial that you can start with that you can build Malinks, which is built in Flutter Web, links on top. But now this is built on Svelte. In order for you to start, you have to get a Svelte template project. Copy and paste the command line inside your terminal. Let's name it Linktree Web clone and press enter gotta wait for a while my eyes that big and let's open it up in vs code so once you open it up you will have a couple of files which is very basic like you have the public and the src file all right before we start anything we have to download npm packages and you can see here right in their dependencies there's only one that's it because Svelte is just a compiler, like I said earlier. It doesn't have a virtual DOM that you need to download inside your dependencies. So that's like a major ding, good advantage that Svelte offers because you don't need to download a lot of dependencies or its own virtual DOM. So what you need to do is you need to install all the NPM packages. Go to your terminal and install all the packages. Pop. All right, once we are done installing the npm packages you can run your svelte app so you type in npm run dev your application is ready and let's go to our first app cool once you run it on your local host it will look something like this it's not a lot of boilerplate that's it you have the script and then you have the main tag and all of your other elements and you have this thing so simple so first we need to have our face and then our tag and a couple of buttons. Let's deal with this uh, face first. Let's add in an image. You can see my face right here. Very big. All right. So what I need to do is I need to make it smaller. So let's create the style for image. Now you have it. We have a very small face here. So we want to center it. Let's uh, put our image inside a div. Let's call our div a container center because we want to center and a very simple CSS which is to center our image in the middle. Right, looking good, very simple. Next, we need a text. So we just add a text or we could say a paragraph element and we can just say add the happy Harris. And excellent, it looks good. Next up, we're gonna have the buttons. Uh, instead of me using buttons, I'm gonna use the hyperlinks as my buttons. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add uh, a tag, a href. So what I'm going to add is my dev2 link and just put dev.2. And let's start our hyperlink element. Let's add in a class button. So generic. And there you go very simple but the thing is what if i want to do a lot of this so you can just do this so an example is like youtube subscribe and like <laughs> and maybe my twitter so i have three of this great okay so one thing about svel is that you can make this into components of very simple components how you do that is create a new file let's call it button.svelte Let's put our CSS inside and our hyperlink. Okay, how we export this, right? We don't have to use the word export.
fucking amazing, right? <laughs> we can import under our script tag. We haven't really touched our script. And at the same time, we can just import it as such. In order for us to create our props or properties, it is as simple as this. So it requires a title and URL. And then how we are going to use this title and URL is to put it inside here. You guys can probably know what this will look like. Now we just need to add in our title prop and URL prop. How we're going to add is something like this. Pretty simple, right? Uh, another Svelte feature that they do is, let me show you. So a link contains a two title. So let's put dev.2 and URL. So we have this, uh, you can see, K JavaScript object. What we can do is by using the spread operator and tada, that's amazing, right? So if I were to change my title to blog, this will change to blog. Freaking amazing. So you can use the spread operator. Now, another thing is that what if we have more than one link? So let's create a list of links. So I have here me a list of links. What we can do is we can use a for each loop inside our elements. Something like Flutter. What? Yes. And how you phrase it, it makes sense. Each links as link. And then you can use this spread operator for our button. When you save it, bam. It's it's a bit janky when it uh, hot reload or updates itself. But yeah, this is uh, how it looks like. I mean, that's about it. So I give you like a sneak preview on what Svelte is able to do. You can create your apps pretty simply like this simple landing page. It doesn't require a lot of code as you can see. So your CSS is contained inside the own file. The button CSS will be contained its in own file. And this is how you create your own property. So you export. It lets you know what is needed. One more thing. So one thing that you can do is also default properties button and the link can be you know something like that. If I were to have a empty object, then we create a button that leads me to resilient.com. Yeah, it has to be a HTTPS uh, link. But you get the point. So that's about it. Yeah, Svelte is pretty nice that it can update very fast and it, it, it's a compiler. It's not a framework or it doesn't contain a virtual DOM that you have to talk to. So it's really talking directly to the HTML, CSS and JavaScript, which I really like about. And if you think this tutorial is helpful, smash the like button and subscribe for more. Hope you guys learned something new today. If you have any questions, leave the comments down below. I'll be happy to reply them. And yeah, have a nice day. Bye. Bye.